Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sam and this week I'm talking about three reasons that you're not achieving your goals. So if you have been doing everything that you possibly can to try to achieve your goals and it's still not working out, then make sure you keep watching this video. So this is part of a series that I'm doing this week on the power of self-image and how we can use the way that we see ourselves, the opinion that we have about ourselves, to change the way that we're acting and the results that we're achieving. And it's really come off the back of last week's series on the law of attraction. I really dived into all of that and the thing that came up for me from doing that was that it all starts with how you see yourself and what you believe about yourself. And I also saw that there were quite a few different beliefs that I had about myself that were in direct conflict with the goals I was working towards and that unless I'm willing to change that belief I have about myself and my self image before I achieve my goal, then I won't achieve my goal because the self image that we have and the belief that we have needs to come before we achieve the goal because it's what creates that achievement. And usually we try to wait until after we've achieved a goal to believe we're that kind of person when it works the other way around. So I really wanted to do a whole week spotlighting, spotlighting, is that a word? Yes, it is. <laughs> I don't know if I've used it the right way, but shining a light on the power of self image. So I've also recorded a podcast episode to go along with this series about the beliefs I have about myself that have helped me achieve my goals and the beliefs I have that are not helping me and how I'm actually working to change those beliefs. So if you're interested in hearing more of my personal experience, then make sure you listen to the podcast episode. I'll link it in the description box below. As well, I've done a blog post that's about five steps to create a sec... Oh my God, I can't speak. Success mindset. I feel like I only said sex. Success mindset. And I go through how to really create a new self image. And I've also got a free workbook that will help you actually go through that process. You guys know that I love sharing how to actually change your life, not just you know, sharing tips to leave you feeling inspired, but like, I don't know what to do next. I've been really making a big effort to make sure that when you watch my content, you can actually figure out how to apply it to your life and just making that really easy. So make sure you go and read that blog post and download the free workbook to help you really apply all of this to your life. But you don't need to do that before you watch this video. The podcast episode, YouTube video, and the blog post are all standalone content, but they all build on each other. So if you want to know more, make sure you go and check all of that out. So I'm going to get into three ways that you are blocking yourself from achieving your goals, three reasons you might not be achieving your goals. And the first one, as you might have guessed, is that you don't believe that you're the kind of person who can achieve your goal. And I know it sounds so obvious, but do you know the amount of times that we try to achieve goals whilst also believing we're not that kind of person? I'll give you a few examples just so you can really like see how this might be happening in your own life. So the first one is if you've been trying to wake up early, it's a goal that you have to wake up, say at 5.30, 6, 8 a.m., whatever time's early for you, and yet you're struggling while at the same time believing that you're not a morning person, believing that you're the kind of person that has to set 10 alarms to wake up, believing that you know, you're just not that kind of person that functions in the morning. If you're trying to wake up early whilst also having the belief that you're not the kind of person that can wake up early, then it should come as no surprise that you're struggling. And I know that so many of us do this and... I think the reason that a lot of us do it as well is because it's scary to really back yourself and be like, no, actually, I could be the kind of person that could do that and then fail at it. But it's so, so necessary. Another way that we might do this is by trying to eat healthy, but then believing that we're not the kind of person that can eat healthy. We just don't like healthy food and 
you know, we need to eat everything in sight or we just have that sugar craving at 3 p.m. every day that we can't ignore and we're different to everyone else and all of that kind of thing. Or you might be, and this is one I talk about in the podcast episode, trying to achieve a big business goal at the same time as believing you're not an entrepreneur. That is what I have been doing. I've been waiting until I'm successful meaning that my business is at least my main source of income before I'm willing to self-identify as an entrepreneur, yet I need to actually believe that I'm an entrepreneur in order to create that success. So that's one thing that really came up for me when I was diving into all of the law of attraction stuff last week that like, oh shit, I don't actually have this belief that I need to have in order to achieve my goal. So I'm really working on creating that. And I talk about that more in the podcast episode and the blog post and the workbook about how to do that. So I won't go into it here. But one reason that you might not be achieving your goals is because you have a belief about yourself that is in contradiction with the goal you're working towards. And often we talk about ourselves and the kind of people we are as if we're just reporting the weather. We say it as though it can't be changed and we're just saying like, oh, that's just the way I am. It's not. We can change those things about us. You might have noticed, say, in the last 10 years that you have changed a lot of things that you do. You're a different kind of person in a lot of ways. And you can also do that intentionally by using the process that I share in the blog post. And it does take a bit of time, especially if you've believed you're a certain kind of person for a long time. It will take a bit of repetition to create a new autopilot for your brain, a new default of believing that you are that kind of person. But it definitely can be done. So that is the first one. The second one is telling your friends and family that you can't achieve your goal. And... Sometimes we do this to make others feel better about themselves and sometimes we do this to try and save ourselves disappointment and embarrassment. So you might have been saying like, oh, you know, like, yeah, I'm trying to eat healthy, but it, like, if, if you're talking to someone who's struggling to achieve the goal that you want to achieve, you might be kind of diminishing your character and diminishing your opportunity to achieve that goal just to make them feel better like putting yourself down to be like oh you know it's hard for me too I find myself doing that quite a bit is I'll I'll try and play up how hard something is even if it's not necessarily hard just because it might be hard for most people and that's something I definitely want to stop doing so you might be saying to your friends oh, you know, I hope I can do it, but I probably can't. And that will create that reality. So just be really careful if you're saying that. And be careful as well if you're just trying to say you can't achieve your goal just to manage other people's um, expectations, but manage your own expectations so that you don't feel disappointed having announced to everyone that you're certainly going to achieve your goal and then you don't. Because when you hear yourself say that over and over again, it will create that. And I just think it is a really great skill to be able to be willing to back yourself and stand behind yourself and to not then shame yourself if you don't achieve your goal. So that is number two. And number three is self-sabotaging when you get close to your goal. I feel like I used to do this a lot with... um, with my body and when I was exercising and I was getting close to how I physically wanted to look, I would then go and like just completely go off my healthy eating plan because I had this belief that I couldn't look like that for certain reasons. I think it was because I wanted to be seen as smart and not like I just had this whole like not logical belief at all about having to be Like if I'm attractive, then that will take away from my intelligence. I don't know. I think that's the belief that was underlying it all. But I would self-sabotage. I've also noticed myself, and I talk about this in the podcast episode more, with being a person that's on time. Previously, I've been a person that is late to things. And if I'm not careful, if I'm still believing that I'm that person that's late to things, I will be somewhere nearly about to be early and then I will just like, oh, just check Instagram or just check my emails or I'll just call that person and then I'll end up being late. And it's just so interesting to see myself like 
subconsciously, I'm not doing it on purpose, but I'll end up creating a situation so that I am late and I can still hold on to my identity. And it's just so fascinating to me how willing we are to not achieve our goals just so we can hold on to the beliefs that we have about ourselves. We always want to be right and we always want to be right about ourselves and that's a really strong pull and it does take some practice to get out of it but make sure you have a listen to the podcast episode if you want to know more about what I'm personally doing and go over and read that blog post but they are three reasons that you might not be achieving your goals you don't believe you're the kind of person that can achieve your goal you're telling friends and family that you can't achieve your goal and you are self-sabotaging when you get close to achieving your goal and that self-sabotage is really a sign that there's something not quite right, not something not quite in alignment when it comes to your beliefs that you have and whatever it is you're trying to achieve. There's a bit of a disconnect there and we self-sabotage so that we can stay in the comfort zone of our current beliefs and not contradict them. So that's all I'm going to be sharing this week. I hope you have found it helpful. If you have, make sure you subscribe to my channel below. And also check out that description box for everything else that will help you apply this to your life. And I will see you next week. Bye.